It's time for Holy Baloney, the game show where you gotta guess who is telling the truth and who is full of baloney. The bad will be defeated! Now, let's meet today's contestants. First up, we have Ice Cream. Hey. He's a nine-year-old guitar prodigy who wants to be an opera singer someday. Our second contestant is Frozen Yogurt. She's eight and a half and enjoys food fights and spider bag riding on her uncle's farm. Okay, kids, it's time to play. Which of my Frozen Freezer friends is telling the truth to this question? Who invented the popsicle? Name it, I know it. Long ago when TV didn't have color, a farmer was working on the field and he swallowed a bee. It stung him all over his mouth. That's gonna hurt. He screamed so loud, his wife heard him and she acted fast. She put water in the old test tube and froze it. It cooled off all the nasty bee stings. He and his wife took the invention and they started selling them as a dessert snack. So we could thank this angry bee for making us cool. Thanks, angry bee. Okay, so you're saying popsicles were invented by a farmer's wife to soothe a mouthful of bee stings. Sounds like it could be true, but let's hear Frozen Yogurt's story. Back in the 1900s when most of our moms and dads were being born, an 11-year-old named Frank Epperson left a soda with a stirring stick inside on his porch. And it was cold at night in San Francisco, and it all froze together. Accidentally, I guess he made a frozen drink on a stick. A cool kid, get it? Cool kid? And just like that, one of my favorite treats is born. So kids, can you guess who told the truth? Was it Ice Cream with his story about the bee stung farmer? Or was it frozen yogurt with the frozen porch drink? Did you guess the story about the frozen porch soda sickle? Well, you're right. During the Roman Empire, Claudius Caesar sent people out into the mountains to collect snow, which was later flavored with fruits and juices. Well, that's it for today. All this talk of popsicles is making me cold. I am a little chilly.